raising the rafters with a hey, hey, hey. With songs and sketches and jokes old and new. With us about, you won't feel blue. So meet the gang, cause the boys are here. The boys to entertain you. B-O-B-O-Y-S, boys to entertain you. What are you doing this lowly, dirty cleaning job? Eh? What are you talking about? You ignorant coolie? <laughs> this is number one important job in the whole of Deal Ali camp. This is bags of British bull. <laughs> the main table's all hygienic. <coughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, my friend, we have to clean the tables with the spit and polish because the British soldiers are very high caste people who live in beautiful cantonments, in lovely cities such as Crystal Palace <laughs> and Sutton Cold Field. <laughs> but if they eat their food from dirty places, they may get nasty Indian diseases, and then they will go running around camp holding tummies and shouting, oh blimey, oh blimey, oh blimey. <laughs> <laughs> oh blimey, oh blimey. I have seen this. <laughs> oh blimey. <laughs> Shut up. up. High detail gunner Graham for this fatigue. Uh, Shut up. <clears throat> What's the meaning over that? Uh, Sir Major Saab, Gunner Sally Saab told Gunner Graham Saab to play the piano for his concert party rehearsaling Saab, and he told me to do dirty cleaning for him Saab. Who is running this camp, Bombardier Solomon's or me? Bombardier. Jack! Right. <laughs> you are now going to tell the Colonel just what you told me. I'll whip them stripes off Solomon so fast he'll think he's been hit by a tornado! Right, watch it, Vera. Hey, Bart, ciao! Sure. <laughs> Quick, march it! I guess, I guess, I guess! You worry about serving on a court martial, Ashwood? But uh, as an officer and one of the judges, as it were, shouldn't I know something about military law? Good heavens, no, you're just there to decide whether the chaps are guilty or not. That's not law, it's just common sense. Yes, I yes, I yes, I yes, I yes, I help! Excuse me, sir. The bearer to the concert party is sure, sir, and I would like you to hear a statement what he has got to say. All right, wheel him in. Sir. Bear, quick march! Yes, I yes, I yes, I yes, I yes, I time! Halt! <laughs> Salam, Colonel, sir, and respectful greetings to you, sir. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> now tell the Colonel, in your own words, just what you told me. That's a sound, Major, sir. <coughs> I am in B.O.R.'s mess basher, sir, and I have one chatty pani, and I have one brush, and I am doing the sacro to the table, sir, and I am singing one a small sound, like this. Dum -dee -dum -dee. Shut up. <laughs> the Colonel do not want to hear all that twaddle. He wants to hear how Bombardier Solomon's countermanded my orders and took Anna Graham off fatigues. Sir, that was so he could play piano with his beautiful artistic hands instead of scraping hard rice pudding off table, isn't it? <laughs> there you are, sir. He countermanded my orders and I would now like to put Bombardier Solomon on a charge and place him under close arrest. Oh, no, wait a minute, Sergeant Major. Gunner Graham's a member of the concert party, isn't he? I have put all the concert party on fatigue, sir, as a punishment for gross insubordination and impertinence. Why, what have they been up to? Last night in the show, sir, they performed a skit called Bull in the Battery Office. Oh, I saw that. It was awfully good. <laughs> what didn't you like about it, Sergeant Major? There was a battery sergeant major in it, sir, who was portrayed as a... A rude, ignorant person. <laughs> Kept uh, shouting and bawling and saying things like, get fell in and shut up. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> that is liable for a start, sir, because I do not never use bad grammar of that description. Then how do you know it was meant to be you? Because, sir, he was wearing my hat, my moustache and my stick. Ah. <laughs> oh, Colonel Saab, it was so funny, everybody was laughing off their heads. Shut up! <laughs> What was worse, sir, when the supposed Sergeant Major walked off the stage, his trousers fell down. <laughs> revealing a pair of frilly drawers. <laughs> thus incinerating that the said Sergeant Major was a puff. <laughs> Finally, sir, the pianist played... Uh, <laughs> and we all know the words to that, sir. Colonel Sam, I was laughing so much that tears were coming from my eyes. 
White Bear, you can go. I tell Sergeant Major, sir. With your permission, sir, I will now go and arrest Bombardier Solomon. Now, come, Sergeant Major, you must have a sense of humor about these things. Concert parties are always taking the mickey out of Sergeant Majors. They even take the mickey out of the officers. The captain, Chappie, that skit was a complete silly ass. But I, I don't think for a second it was supposed to be me. <laughs> Well, sir, for the sake of discipline, I have put the old concert party on fatigue for one week. No, I'm afraid you can't do that, Sergeant Major. The, the area commander's arriving next week, and I've asked them to do a special show. We don't want the whole thing to be a shambles, do we? By Jove, no, we jolly well don't. I'm afraid you have to cancel that order, Sergeant Major. Well, that'll make me a laughing stock, sir. I can't help it. I can't discuss it anymore. Captain Ashford and I are off to this court-martial thing. Court-martial, sir? Yes, a couple of infantry chaps got caught out of bounds in a place called the Karma Sutra Club or something. <laughs> Stupid fools. Military police went in and caught them red-handed, looking at the cabaret. They were probably going after girls and silly things like that. <laughs> you can't be sure of that, Ashford. You don't want to prejudge the issue, you know? I'm awfully sorry, sir. It's all right. Court-martial? I'd like to get that concert party mob on a court-martial. They won't go after girls, because there are a lot of puffs. <laughs> cabaret. They give their soul to be a cabaret. That's how I'll trap them. They won't be able to resist the allure of the grease ball. In some secluded <laughs> rendezvous Overlooks the avenue He needs to go away. <laughs> he needs to go away. Oh, Johnny, don't keep me standing outside here. I want to see the owner. He needs to wait. <laughs> he needs to come in. Well, come on in, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. I want to see the owner. I am on that. Oh, nice little place you got here. <laughs> Do you, by any chance, have a cabaret? Cabaret, yes, we have cabaret. Oh, in that case, I got a little uh, proposition to put to you. Oh, please, come to the pint, jaldi jaldi, and turkey turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be getting up there after I'm super relaxed. Don't serve that chart, and I tell you. Not sure what are you doing here? The sergeant major took us off for teeth two hours ago. I was enjoying myself. <laughs> you didn't get in the way off fast because we've got to run through. Oh, come on, let's be having yeah. it. None of your lip gonna. I haven't finished cooking it yet. <laughs> what is it? Cold salmon salad. <laughs> oh, I saw your show last night. Oh, yeah? Did you like it? Bloody awful. <laughs> Call yourself comics. <laughs> I've seen funnier funerals. Well, I didn't think much of your Irish stew yesterday. It was all fatty. Yeah. And eat about as much like a girl as King Kong. <laughs> if I may say so, I think your menu shows very little imagination. Fancy serving Irish stew in 110 in the shade. <laughs> and chicken pudding for afters. Look, I'm a qualified cook. And when I get back to Civvy Street, I'm authorised to work at the Savoy and such like places. Yeah. Cleaning out the carsy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Nobby, all right. Right, grub up. Yeah, about time, too. I've been up since six o'clock this morning preparing this meal, so come and get it. Corned beef, half an onion, a mango, bread and mud. <laughs> you think it was in the glass house? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> What's going on, sir? I have part of you what very important is this up. Not here, Randy. Give it in the basher. I tell you, do that. something about these flies, will you? I tell you. What? 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 No one hears for me, thanks. They give me colic. <laughs> A kite hawk has just pinched my corn beef. <laughs> well, what do you expect me to do about it then? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. I think they've managed a tablecloth. Come on then, open up that chippy then, Randy. I just up. Sally? What? You're not eating that onion. What is it on my plate for? 
We're doing the cheek to cheek number. Well, you have one as well. <laughs> this is a terrible place. A bird swooped and pinched my corn beef. <laughs> In Glasgow on a Saturday night, the birds will pinch more than your corn beef. <laughs> The Errol Flynn of Thucky Old Street. <laughs> oh, turn it up. This is great excitement. What's he say? I just up. I will read for you every damn word. Honored <laughs> <laughs> Bombardier Solomons, I am hearing, please, that you are very fine concert and laughing and singing people. <laughs> please, will you be exposing your show on the floor at my club tonight? I will be paying you, please, 50 rupees for try-on and also seven portions of kofta curry with mango chutney and papadam. <laughs> M. Singh, owner of Kama Sutra Club, Diolali. Yeah, Kama Sutra Club, that rings a bell. Very well-known place, that. I suppose they want some sort of a cabaret. <coughs> of course, Kama Sutra Club. Oh, glory, it's the big time. Everybody in Diolali goes there. Must be a very big place. <laughs> they don't all go at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, is it sophisticated? Oh, it's the haunt of the elite. I mean, you get a cross-section of the entire Asiatic hoi polloi. Oh. Maharajas and Chinese mandarins. Yeah, elegant dames on the arms of high-ranking diplomats. Oh, I can see it now. I shall step on the floor in my white tuxedo. <laughs> grey tuxedo, sir. No, I ain't got a grey tuxedo. Yes, you have, sir. No. I've got one tuxedo and it's white. Not now, sir. <laughs> well, do me while I was washing it, water buffalo walked into the river. <laughs> On the off, sir! Penance, not a word. Any complaints? No, sir. No, sir. Ooh. Getting local letters now, are we? Not from a baby, I hope. No, no, sir. Something private. Sir. Oh, I'm uh, not prying, lovely boy. Just uh, having a little joke, you know. Any complaints? If I may say so, sir, the diet is extremely monotonous. Monotonous? Uh, you mean monotonous? <laughs> Monday you had corned beef ash, Tuesday you had corned beef fritters, today you've got cold corned beef. What's monotonous about that? <laughs> Doesn't show much imagination, Sergeant Major. And much imagination, Sergeant Major. <laughs> well, Mr. Lardy Dog on a Graham, if you've got so much imagination, perhaps you can tell the bombardier cook what else he can do with his corned beef. Everything all right, yes. <laughs> Not bad, sir. The only trouble is they get more or less the same thing every day. Well, it's just as bad for the officers. I'm fed up to the back teeth with chicken. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the same for us, you know. When I was in the ranks, the food was absolutely uneatable. It was the worst two weeks of my life. <laughs> Carry on, Sergeant Major. Carry on, Bombardier. Sir. Oh, and uh, eat well, lovely boys, because you need lots of energy to put on them wonderful shows of yours. <laughs> What's he up there, Solly? Oh, never mind about him. Randy, now, go and tell that geese at the Karma Sutra Club we accept. I jump on with your thoughts. Now, listen, fellas, yeah. we've got plenty to do. We go straight to the theatre and work out what material we're going to use. Tikai? Tikai. Hello? Is that Sergeant Major Stevens? Speaking. Taffy Williams, your Royal Artillery. Oh, yes. How are things in the military police, Cyril? Oh, can't complain, really, Taff. Can't complain. You, uh, fancy nicking a few tonight? I can't say I'd mind. Ooh. Good. Because I got it on very good authority that there'll be quite a bunch of British other ranks in a Karma Sutra Club tonight. In that case, my lads will have to pay it a visit, won't they? I'll see you there, then. Oh, no, you keep away. Anyone I see in uniform goes inside. <laughs> Except military police, of course. Oh, pity. I'd quite like to see them knocked off. <laughs> Still, am I? Bye for now. <coughs> got them. <laughs> Got him. The next show they'll do will be in the glass house. <laughs> Am I being rotten? <laughs> you hope for him. It'll turn them into soldiers. It's for their own good. Oh, heck. My boy Parky. He'll be with them. Simple. I'll find something for him to do here in the office where I can keep an eye on him. <laughs> <laughs> Back home, they raise the income tax, and everybody does. It At last, the side down, chas. At last, the side down. <laughs> and Mr. Hor Balisha has had his eyebrows plucked. At last, the side down, chaps. At last, the side down. Hang on, hang on. 
Something is wrong. <laughs> hey, Solly. Solly, do you think I'm overdoing the posh voice? Oh. <laughs> if you don't mind my saying so, you really can't have a Western brother with a Scottish accent. Make it a Northern brother. <laughs> no, we're doing the cabaret tonight. You can't put in new material. You've got to try the tried and true. I mean, that's the only way. I mean, I'm doing my Jesse Matthews. Oh. Over my shoulder goes one care. Over my shoulder goes two care. <laughs> this audience is sophisticated, suave and subtle. I mean, we've got to give them some West End material. Good and dizzy. <laughs> Come on, let's try another voice. Not sure. Come on. He lets the side down, chaps. Let's the side down. <clears throat> he lets the side down, chaps. He lets the side down. <laughs> Nobby, you try. It lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side down. Possible. Lofty. Uh, it lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side Impossible. down. Impossible. <laughs> I know. I'll do it myself. Oh, great. A Jewish Western brother. <laughs> Try. All right. It lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side down. Great, a Western sister. <laughs> lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side down. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's marvellous. You've got the job. Try the second verse. <laughs> the fast of Mr. Gandhi worried Burma and Bengal. He sat there in his loincloth. The Viceroy made a call. And he found out it was only night starvation after all. It lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side down. Beautiful! <laughs> oh, don't stop now, the boys. Carry on. Very good. Uh, it's a bit uh, sophisticated for our mob, though, isn't it? Well, we thought we'd give it a try, you know? Well, you know best about these things, Bombardier. <laughs> oh, by the way, you haven't got a show tonight, have you? Uh. No, Sergeant Major. Well, good, because, uh, as you know, if you had a show on tonight, I wouldn't spoil it for the world. <laughs> oh, no. But uh, as you haven't got a show, get a Parkins. There's a lot of filing to be done in the office, so you report there at 1900 hours. Marlow? Yes, Sergeant Major. Good. Right, lovely boys. Carry on with your rehearsal. Well, would you believe... Just when I found something I can do. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Solly, I'll go Epson. No, he'll come looking for you. Bobby, dear sir, I have been to Karma Sutra Club, sir, but it is not good news. It is out of bounds. Oh, <laughs> Crevens, that's all we need. But, sir, if you go there, naughty military police will lock you up in Clinky. Yeah, all right, Randy. I knew it was out of bounds. Well, if you, you knew that, Solly, you should have told I us. I was going to tell you, fellas, honest, but I just wanted time to work things out. I don't want to go to Clinky. I'd get put on. The got <laughs> one. We shouldn't take a chance. Yeah, but look, we'll be playing through all those swells instead of those sweaty butch soldiers. Oh, I think it's worth it. Oh, Sab, you are so brave. <laughs> but if the place is crawling with a police, how are we going to get in? It won't be crawling with the police. They raided it last week. They probably won't go near there for a month. Hey, hey Solly, we could go in disguise. Aye. A Maharaja. I've always fancied myself as a Maharaja. <laughs> Solly, we could go as the ladies of the town. I'll stick to being a Maharaja. <laughs> what you need is some sort of camouflage. Each one of you needs something so you can merge with the background. Yes, sir. This is a trick. You can change the base of the jockey. And Gloria, sir, a sacred cup. <laughs> Don't be such clever dicky. <laughs> Look, fellas, why don't you just leave it to your Uncle Solly? I will personally guarantee that you'll all merge with the background. Come here. Underneath the arches, I dream my dreams away. I'm not liking this, Randy. Oh, stop belly aching. Randy, fool. <laughs> we should have come in disguise. But you are in disguise, you silly fellow. <laughs> You are disguised as dirty chawala. <laughs> oh, baby, here comes trouble. All right, fellas, this is it. Get out. Evening, Randy. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sir. I, I thought you were military police basket. <laughs> 
first class razors, isn't yeah. it? Thank you. <laughs> Come on, fellas, hurry it up. I say, it's not very sophisticated. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Come on, I'll have the cases. That red lamp looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get inside, quick. Please to go away. <laughs> Good evening. We are the cabaret. You are not cabaret. You are military police basket. Go away. <laughs> Randy, tell him. Watch your sab. Manager sab. Yeah. Ye log basket to nahi hai. Ye paka concert party log hai. Concert party log nahi hai ye. Ha. Ye to military police hai. Chala chala jaise bago. Sab. Does not believe you are concert party. He is doubting Tommy. No. Oh. <laughs> Prove it, lads, right? One, two, three, four. Meet the gang, cause the boys are here. The boys to entertain you. Two, three, four. With music and laughter to help you on your way to make it. 1900 hours. If my boy's coming here to do some filing, I better give him some filing to do. Good heavens, what's happened? I've no idea, sir. <laughs> what a pity. Gunner Parkins was here a bit earlier to do some filing. I told him there wasn't any filing to do and sent him off for the night. <laughs> oh, I say, I'm a fool. Ah, oh, there it is. Toodaloo. <laughs> He'll have gone to that club. I've got to stop the raid. Where's the number of the military police? Too late. They'll be on their way to the raid. I've got to get my boy out of there. Back home, they raised the income tax. So everybody ducked. It lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side down. I've never seen anything like it. You said it was going to be sophisticated. It's all cheap cigarettes and curry. We'll probably get the richer crowd in later on. Oh, yeah. After the bazaars close. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Men and women keep going upstairs. <laughs> Can you get into another club up there? <laughs> Speaking, yes. <laughs> I fancy us playing a place like this. Top, top, they are throwing flowers in there. See, Gloria, it's going swell. But top, the flowers are still in the vases. <laughs> hey, hey, Buster, have you got a light? Yeah, sure. Here. Yeah. Yeah. What's he doing here? We're hundreds of miles from the sea. There's always a drunken American sailor in these sort of places. <laughs> oh. Hi, sister. Oh! <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Come on, Gloria, you're on. Over my shoulder goes. Over my shoulder goes. Oh, dear, Sergeant Major, shut up, he's coming. दूसरे को नींद नहीं आ रही ये है वन ऑफ दो डेज प्लीज टू गो अवे जॉनी यू नो मी आई ब्रॉड यू कैबरे एंड यू प्लीज टेक योर कैबरे बैक अगेन Listen to that. Listen to that. How dare you be telling me to take this rotten cabaret off? It is the most lousy cabaret I have ever had. Listen. 
Johnny, if I say it's a good cabaret, it is a good cabaret. Yeah, it's not your manager. You mean you recommended us? Oh, I, well, uh, I want you to all to go places, like, see, I mean, I know it's hard for you to understand, but underneath this chest means hard to go to. Come on, Parky. What's going on? What's going on? Naughty military police are coming up the road, and they are going to knock on doors off. Sir, I am fortune teller. <laughs> I mustn't be caught here. There's the back door. Huh? The front door is the back door. <laughs> Stuff yourself up your chimney like your daddy Christmas. Shut up! Get Get What are you going to do, Bombardier? Uh, we'll be all right in these uniforms. Oh, you're a clever boy. I won't forget you for this. We ain't got one for you. <laughs> are you looking at these who hurt me? Well, why not? Oh, Sully, he did get us the date. Yeah, all right, then. Now, quick, get your trousers off. Oh, sir, what a man of action you yeah. are. <laughs> that is eating thy I think that's the place where those court martial chaps were arrested, sir. You know, fancy going to a dive like that. I mean, what's the attraction? Well, that lamp looks rather pretty. You've <laughs> got a jolly slack staff. Very bad at answering the door. OK, fellas, he's ready. Right, Randy, let him in. I just up. Oh, come on, fellas, shoulders back. Try and look like real MPs. Can I stand on a stool? <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? Evening, no. Uh, well, just a routine call. Nothing much happening here. Come on outside, lads. That's funny. I heard this place was going to be full of troops. Oh, yeah, did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I had a tip-off from my pal, B.S.M. Williams. Oh, yeah? A tip-off from B.S.M. Williams? Well, that's funny, oh, cos he... Oh, Mamma Mia, he not have been a year all night. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Pasta spaghetti. <laughs> He's from Ensa. Sir, he's an Irish tenor doing turn. Uh, we'll take care of him. Oh, all right. Go on, then. All right, yeah. Come on, lads. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, well, by the way, um, yeah. there's lots of girls upstairs, you know. Oh. Well, I suppose you might have a look around while we're here. Oh, yeah, you do that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, fellas, hurry up. Slowly. <coughs> They're taking all sizes these days, aren't they? <laughs> That's funny. Five went in and eight have come out. <laughs> They're very thorough, you know. <laughs> oh, you're Asiatic pipe, Johnny. Good evening, Sergeant Major. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, sir, I... Uh... <laughs> Oh, I can see I'm going to have to make a clean breast of all this. Colonel Saab, it is totally my fault. Because I am telling Colonel Saab that Chawala told me that concert party was going to do dirty things on this floor. The cabaret, sir. And knowing what I regard you as for him, as I have myself, I was determined to save him, sir. And that is why I come here to get him out. But, Colonel Saab, they are not in. Because Chawala is lying monkey. As he... <clears throat> Just one thing, uh, why are you dressed? Oh, like... I know what he's going to ask, sir. Why is I dressed like a clown? Yes, that <laughs> fact, I was, yes. Uh, sir. Well, uh, it took me a long time to decide, sir, what disguise to adapt. And after what's happened to me tonight, I think I made the right choice. <laughs> you know, there is one very old Hindu proverb which say that house with red lamp over da is not always headquarters of communist party. <laughs>
my show that goes to. <laughs> this audience is sophisticated, suave, and subtle. I mean, we've got to give them some West End material. Sir, if you have something to say, then why don't you ask me? I want you to say good and dizzy. Come on, let's try another voice. Nosha, come on. It lets the side down, chaps. Let's the side down. <clears throat> He lets the side down, chaps. He lets the side down. Oh, no. <laughs> Nobby, you try. It lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side down. Possible. Lofty. Uh, it lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side Impossible. down. Impossible. <laughs> I know. I'll do it myself. Oh, great. A Jewish Western brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you try. All right. It lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side down. <laughs> Great, a Western sister. <laughs> lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side down. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's marvellous. You've got the job. Try the second verse. <laughs> the fast of Mr Gandhi worried Burma and Bengal. He sat there in his loincloth. The viceroy made a call. And he found out it was only night starvation after all. It lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side down. Beautiful! <laughs> oh, don't stop, lovely boys. Carry on, very well. Uh, would you believe? Just when I found something I can do. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Solly. I'll go Epson. No, he'll come looking for you. Baba, get up. I have been to Karma Sutra Club, sir, but it is not good news. It is out of bounds. Oh, <laughs> Crevens, that's all we need. But, sir, if you go there, naughty military police will lock you up in Clinky. Yeah, all right, Randy. I knew it was out of bounds. Well, if you, you knew that, Solly, you should have told I us. I was going to tell you, fellas, honest, but I just wanted time to work things out. I don't want to go to Clinky. I'd get put on. The got <laughs> one. We shouldn't take a chance. Yeah, but look, we'll be playing through all those swells instead of those sweaty butch soldiers. Oh, I think it's worth it. Oh, Sam, you are so brave. But if the place is crawling with a police, how are we going to get in? It won't be crawling with the police. They raided it last week. They probably won't go near there for a month. Hey, hey Solly, we could go in disguise. Aye, a Maharaja. I've always fancied myself as a Maharaja. <laughs> Solly, we could go as the ladies of the town. I'll stick to being a Maharaja. <laughs> what you need is some sort of camouflage. Each one of you needs something so you can merge with the background. Yes, sir. This is a trick. You all have to change the base of Jogi. And Gloria, sir, a sacred cup. <laughs> Don't be such clever dicky. <laughs> no. Fellas, why don't you just look at them? Looks rather pretty. We've <laughs> got a jolly slack staff. Very bad at answering the door. OK, fellas, he's ready. Right, Randy, let him in. I right, up. Oh, come on, fella. Shoulders back. Try and look like real MPs. Can I stand on a stool? <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? Evening, no. Uh, well, just a routine call. Nothing much happening here. Come on outside, lads. That's funny. I heard this place was going to be full of troops. Oh, yeah, did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I had a tip off from my pal, BSM Williams. Oh, yeah. A tip off from BSM Williams? Well, that's funny, oh, cos he... Oh, Mamma Mia, he not have been a year all night. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Pasta Spaghetti. <laughs> he's from Ensa. Sir, he's an Irish tenor doing turn. Uh, we'll take care of him. Oh, all right. Go on, then. All right, uh, come on, lads. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, by the way, um, yeah. there's lots of girls upstairs, you know. Oh. Well, I suppose you might have a look around while we're here. Oh, yeah, you do that. Yeah. Come on, fellas, hurry up. Slowly. <coughs> They're taking all sizes these days, aren't they? <laughs> That's funny. Five went in and eight have come out. <laughs> They're very thorough, you know. <laughs> well-known place, sir. I suppose they want some sort of a cabaret. <coughs> Of course, Karma Sutra Club. Oh, glorious, the big time. Everybody in Doolally goes there. Must be a very big place. <laughs> <laughs> they don't all go at the same time. <laughs> Sully, is it sophisticated? Oh, it's the haunt of the elite. I mean, you get a cross-section of the entire Asiatic hoi polloi. 
<laughs> Maharajas and Chinese mandarins. Yeah, elegant dames on the arms of high-ranking diplomats. Oh, I can see it now. I shall step on the floor in my white tuxedo. <laughs> grey tuxedo, sir. No, I ain't got a grey tuxedo. Yes, you have, sir. No, I've got one tuxedo and it's white. Not now, sir. <laughs> well, do me while I was washing it, water buffalo walked into river. <laughs> oh, the officer! Cannot, not a word. Any complaints? No, sir. No, sir. Ooh, getting local letters now, are we? Not from a bibby, I hope. No, no, sir, something private. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm not prying, lovely boy, just uh, having a little joke, you know. Any complaints? If I may say so, sir, the diet is extremely monotonous. Monotonous? <laughs> you mean monotonous? <laughs> Monday you had corned beef hash, Tuesday you had corned beef fritters, today you've got cold corned beef. What's monotonous about that? <laughs> Doesn't show much imagination, Sergeant Major. And much imagination, Sergeant Major. <laughs> well, Mr. Lardy Dog on a Graham, if you've got so much imagination, perhaps you can tell the bombardier cook what else he can do with his corned beef. Everything all right, yes. <laughs> Not bad, sir. The only trouble is they get more. Is it sophisticated? Oh, it's the haunt of the elite. I mean, you get a cross section of the entire Asiatic hoi polloi. <laughs> Maharajas and Chinese mandarins. Yeah, elegant dames on the arms of high-ranking diplomats. Oh, I can see it now. I shall step on the floor in my white tuxedo. <laughs> grey tuxedo, sir. No, I ain't got a grey tuxedo. Yes, you have, sir. No, I've got one tuxedo and it's white. Not now, sir. <laughs> well, do me while I was washing it, water buffalo walked into river. <laughs> oh, the officer! Fellas, not a word. Any complaints? No, sir. No, sir. Ooh, getting local letters now, are we? Not from a bibby, I hope. No, no, sir, something private. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm not prying, lovely boy, just uh, having a little joke, you know. Any complaints? If I may say so, sir, the diet is extremely monotonous. Monotonous? <laughs> you mean monotonous? <laughs> Monday you had corned beef hash, Tuesday you had corned beef fritters, today you've got cold corned beef. What's monotonous about that? <laughs> Doesn't show much imagination, Sergeant Major. And much imagination, Sergeant Major. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Lardy Dog on a Graham, if you've got so much imagination, perhaps you can tell the bombardier cook what else he can do with his corned beef. Everything all right, yes. <laughs> Not bad, sir. The only trouble is they get more or less the same thing every day. Well, it's just as bad for the officers. I'm fed up to the back teeth with chicken. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the same for us, you know. When I was in the ranks, the food was absolutely uneatable. It was the worst two weeks of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Bobby, dear. <laughs> Come on, Gloria, you're on. Oh, dear, Sajid Major, shut up, he's coming. You say, I'm not coming. This is one of those days. Please, to go away. Johnny, you know me. I brought you the cabaret. And you please take your cabaret back again. <laughs> See, I'm going to have to make a clean breast of all this. Colonel Saab, it is totally my fault. Because I am telling Colonel Saab that Chawala told me that concert party was going to do dirty things on this floor. The cabaret, sir. And knowing what I regard you as for him, as I have myself, I was determined to save him, sir, and that is why I come here to get him out. But, Colonel Saab, they are not in, because Chawala is lying monkey. I see. <clears throat> Just one thing, uh, why are you dressed Oh, like... I know what he's going to ask, sir. Why is I dressed like a clown? Yes, that's <laughs> right, I was, yes. Uh, sir. Well, uh, it took me a long time to decide, sir, what disguise to adapt. And after what's happened to me tonight, I think I made the right choice. <laughs> you know, there is one very old Hindu proverb which say that house with red lamp over da 
is not always headquarters of Communist Party. <laughs> British bull. <laughs> Made tables all hygienic. <coughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, my friend, we have to clean the tables with the spit and polish because the British soldiers are very high caste people who live in beautiful cantonments, in lovely cities such as Crystal Palace <laughs> and Sutton Cold Field. But if they eat their food from dirty places, they may get nasty in shoulders back. Try and look like real MPs. Can I stand on a stool? <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? Evening, uh, well, just a routine call. Nothing much happening here. Come on outside, lads. That's funny. We heard this place was going to be full of troops. Oh, yeah, did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I had a tip off from my pal, BSM Williams. Oh, yeah. A tip off from BSM Williams? Well, that's funny, because oh, he... Oh, Mamma Mia, he not have been a year all night. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Oh, star spaghetti. <laughs> He's from Ensa. So <laughs> he's Irish tenor doing turn. Uh, we'll take care of him. Oh, all right. Go on, then. All right, uh, come on, lads. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, well, by the way, um, yeah. there's lots of girls upstairs, you know. Oh. Well, I suppose you might have a look around while we're here. Oh, yeah, you do that. Yeah. Come on, fellas, hurry up. Slowly. <coughs> They're taking all sides of these days, aren't they? <laughs> That's funny. Five went in and eight have come out. <laughs> They're very thorough, you know. Help your Asiatic pipe, Johnny. Good evening, Sergeant Major. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, sir, I... Uh... Oh, heck, I can see I'm going to have to make a clean breast of all this. Colonel Saab, it is totally my fault. Because I am telling Colonel Saab that Chawala told me that concert party was going to do dirty things on this floor. The cabaret, sir. And knowing what I regard you as for him, as I have myself, I was determined to save him, sir, and that is why I come here to get him out. But, Colonel Saab, they are not in, because Chawala is lying monkey. I see. <clears throat> Just one thing, uh, why are you dressed... Oh, like... I know what he's going to ask, sir. Why is I dressed like a clown? Yes. That <laughs> fact, I was, yes. Uh, sir, well, uh, it took me a long time to decide, sir, what disguise to adapt. <coughs> and after what's happened to me tonight, I think I made the right choice. <laughs> You know, there is one very old Hindu proverb which say that house with red lamp over door is not always headquarters of Communist Party. <laughs> Listen to that! How dare you be telling me to take this 
Rotten Cabaret on. It is the most lousy cabaret I have ever had. Listen, Johnny, if I say it's a good cabaret, it is a good cabaret. Hey, it's not your manager. You mean you recommended us? Oh, I, well, uh, I wanted to all to go places like see. Well, sir, I... Uh... <laughs> Oh, I can see I'm going to have to make a clean breast of all this. Colonel Saab, it is totally my fault. Because I am telling Colonel Saab that Chawala told me that concert party was going to do dirty things on this floor. The cabaret, sir. And knowing what I regard you as for him, as I have myself, I was determined to save him, sir. And that is why I come here to get him out. But, Colonel Saab, they are not in. Because Chawala is lying monkey. That's he. <clears throat> Just one thing, uh, why are you dressed Oh, like... I know what he's going to ask, sir. Why is I dressed like a clown? Yes, <laughs> that's right, I was, yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, it took me a long time to decide, sir, what disguise to adapt. And after what's happened to me tonight, I think I made the right choice. <laughs> you know, there is one very old Hindu proverb which say that house with red lamp over door is not always headquarters of communist party. <laughs> This is bags of British bull. <laughs> the main table's all hygienic. <coughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, my friend, we have to clean the tables with the spit and polish because the British soap. <laughs> What's happened? I've no idea, sir. <laughs> what a pity. Colonel Parkins was here a bit earlier to do some filing. I told him there wasn't any filing to do and sent him off for the night. <laughs> oh, I say, I'm a fool. Ah, there it is. Toodaloo. <laughs> He'd have gone to that club. I've got to stop the raid. Now, where's the number of the military police? Too late. They'll be on their way to the raid. I gotta get my boy out of there. Back home, they raised the income tax, so everybody ducked. It lets the side down, chaps. It lets the side down. I've never seen anything like it. You said it was gonna be sophisticated. It's all cheap cigarettes and curry. We'll probably get the richer crowd in later on. Oh, yeah. After the bazaars close. <laughs> Sorry. What? Men and women keep going upstairs. <laughs> Can you get into another club up there? <laughs> speaking, yes. <laughs> I fancy us playing a place like this. Top! Top! They are throwing flowers in there. See, Gloria, it's going swell. But, Top, the flowers are still in the vases. <laughs> hey! Hey, Buster! Have you got a light? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Help What's he doing here? 
We're hundreds of miles from the sea. There's always a drunken American sailor in these sort of places. <laughs> oh, hi, sister. Oh! <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Please, to go away. Johnny, you know me. I brought you the cabaret. And you please take your cabaret back again. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. You said it was going to be sophisticated. It's all cheap cigarettes and curry. We'll probably get the richer crowd in later on. Oh, yeah. After the bazaars close. <laughs> Men and women keep going upstairs. <laughs> Can you get into another club up there? <laughs> In a manner of speaking, yes. I fancy us playing a place like this. Top! Top! They are throwing flowers in there. See, Gloria, it's going swell. But Top, the flowers are still in the vases. <laughs> hey! Hey, Buster! Have you got a light? Yeah, sure. Here. Yeah. Help yourself. What's he doing here? We're hundreds of miles from the sea. There's always a drunken American sailor in these sort of places. <laughs> oh! Hi, sister. Oh! <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Shut up, he's coming. One of those days. Please, to go away. Johnny, you know me. I brought you the cabaret. And you please take your cabaret back again. <laughs> British bull. <laughs> Made tables all hygienic. <coughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, my friend, we have to clean the tables with the spit and polish because the British soldiers are very high caste people who live in beautiful cantonments. 
in lovely cities such as Crystal Palace <laughs> and Saturn Cold Field. <laughs> but if they eat their food from dirty places, they may get nasty Indian diseases, and then they will go running around camp holding tummies and shouting, Oh, blimey! Oh, blimey! Oh, blimey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey! Oh, blimey! I have seen this. <laughs> Oh, blimey! <laughs> Shut up! High detail gunner Graham for this fatigue. Uh, Shut up! What's the meaning of it? Sir Major Saab, Gunner Sari Saab told Gunner Graham Saab to play the piano for his concert party rehearsaling Saab, and he told me to do dirty cleaning for him, Saab. Who is running this camp, Bombardier Solomon's or me? Bomb Shut up! <laughs> right. You are now going to tell the Colonel just what you told me. I'll whip them stripes off Solomon so fast he'll think he's been hit by a tornado! Right, watch it, Vera. Hey, Bart, ciao! Sure. <laughs> Quick, Bart, yes, I guess, I guess, I guess! You worry about serving on a court martial, Ashwood? But uh, as an officer and one of the judges, as it were, shouldn't I know something about military law? Good heavens, though, you're just there to decide whether the chaps are guilty or not. That's not law, it's just common sense. Yes, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I hope! Excuse me, sir. The bearer to the concert party is sure, sir, and I would like you to hear a statement what he has got to say. All right, wheel him in. Sir. Bearer, quick out! And I get, I get, I get, I get, time! Halt! <laughs> Salam, Colonel, sir. And respectful greetings to you, sir. Shut up. <laughs> now tell the Colonel, in your own words, just what you told me. I just ran, Major, sir. I am in B.O.R.'s mess basher, sahab, and I have one chatty pani, and I have one brush. So come on, Gary. Corned beef, half an onion, a mango, bread and mud. Oh, you think he was in the glass house? Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Solomon, sahab, I have for you what very important is this up. Not here, Randy. Give it in the basher. I tell you, do something about these flies, will you? I tell you, What? Go away! Go away! Go away! Go No one hears for me, thanks. They give me colic. A kite hawk has just pinched my corn beef. Well, what do you expect me to do about it then? Uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I think they've managed a tablecloth. Come on, then. Open up that chippy, then, Randy. I just up. Sally? What? You're not eating that onion. What is it on my plate for? We're doing the cheek to cheek number. Well, you have one as well. <laughs> this is a terrible place. A bird swooped and pinched my corn beef. <laughs> <laughs> In Glasgow on a Saturday night, the birds will pinch more than your corn beef. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Errol Flynn of Thucky Old Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, turn it up. This is great excitement. What's it say? I just up. I will read for you every damn word. Honored <laughs> 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 Bombardier Solomon. I am hearing, please, that you are very fine concert and laughing and singing people. Please, will you be exposing your show on the floor at my club tonight? I will be paying you, please, 50 rupees for try-on and also seven portions of kofta curry with mango chutney and papadam. <laughs> M. Singh, owner of Kama Sutra Club, Diolali. A Kama Sutra Club, that rings a bell. Very well known place, that. I suppose they want some sort of a cabaret. <coughs> of course, Kama Sutra Club. Oh, glory, it's the big time. Everybody in Doolally goes there. Must be a very big place. <laughs> <laughs> they don't all go at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, is it sophisticated? Oh, it's the haunt of the elite. I mean, you get a cross section of the entire Asiatic hoi polloi. 
<laughs> Maharajas and Chinese mandarins. Yeah, elegant dames on the arms of high-ranking diplomats. Oh, I can see it now. I shall step on the floor in my white tuxedo. <laughs> grey tuxedo, sir. No, I ain't got a grey tuxedo. Yes, you have, sir. No, I've got one tuxedo and it's white. Not now, sir. <laughs> what do me while I was washing it, water buffalo? Monday, you had corned beef hash. Tuesday, you had corned beef fritters. Today, you got cold corned beef. What's monotonous about that? <laughs> Doesn't show much imagination, Sergeant Major. How much imagination, Sergeant Major? <laughs> well, Mr. Lardy Dog, Gunner Graham, if you've got so much imagination, perhaps you can tell the bombardier cook what else he can do with his corned beef. Everything all right, yes. <laughs> Not bad, sir. The only trouble is that they get more or less the same thing every day. Well, it's just as bad for the officers. I'm fed up to the back teeth with chicken. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the same for us from now. When I was in the ranks, the food was absolutely uneatable. It was the worst two weeks of my life. <laughs> Carry on, Bomber, dear. Come on, Gloria, you're on. Oh, dear, Sergeant Major, shut up, he's coming. You're not going to sleep, this is one of those days. Please, to go away. Johnny, you know me. I brought you the cabaret. And you please take your cabaret back again. <laughs> so, so they are tearing him up. No, no, you mean he's tearing them up. I know what I am saying, Tom. Right? <laughs> Look what they've done to me. <laughs> the animals, animals. Do your peggly art, Chief. Come on, son. Right, Can you change your coat with me? Yes, Sergeant Major. Blimey! All right, Sergeant Major's a fair cop. Oh, no, no, lovely boys. You know me. When I'm off parade, I can turn a blind eye with the best of them. No, no, you carry on. Oh, thanks. Listen to that. Listen to that. How dare you be telling me to take this rotten cabaret off? It is the most lousy cabaret I have ever had. Listen, Johnny, if I say it's a good cabaret, it is a good cabaret. Here, Sergeant Major, you mean you recommended us? Oh, I, well, uh, I wanted to all to go places like see. Well, sir, I... Uh... <laughs> oh, I can see I'm going to have to make a clean breast of all this. Colonel Saab, it is totally my fault. Because I am telling Colonel Saab that Chawala told me that concert party was going to do dirty things on this floor. The cabaret, sir. And knowing what I regard you as for him, as I have myself, I was determined to save him, sir, and that is why I come here to get him out. But, Colonel Saab, they are not in, because Chawala is lying monkey. I see. <clears throat> Just one thing, uh, why are you dressed... Oh, like... I know what he's going to ask, sir. Why is I dressed like a clown? Yes. <laughs> that red I was, yes. yes sir. Well, uh, it took me a long time to decide, sir, what disguise to adapt. And after what's happened to me tonight, I think I made the right choice. <laughs> You know, there is one very old Hindu proverb which say that house with... Baba Jai Saab, I have been to Kama Sutra Club, Saab, but it is not good news. It is out of bounds. Oh, <laughs> crevens, that's all we need. But Saab, if you go there, naughty military police will lock you up in Clinky. Yeah, all right, Randy, I knew it was out of bounds. Well, if you, you knew that, surely you should have told I us. I was gonna tell you fellas, honest, but I just wanted time to work things out. I don't want to go to Clinky. I'd get put on. The blood's rotten. We shouldn't take a chance. Yeah, but look, we'll be playing through all those swells instead of those sweaty butch soldiers. Oh, I think it's worth it. Oh, Sab, you are so brave. But if the place is crawling with a police, how are we going to get in? It won't be crawling with the police. They raided it last week. They probably won't go near there for a month. Hey, hey Solly, we could go in disguise. Aye. A Maharaja. I've always fancied myself as a Maharaja. <laughs> Sully, we could go as the ladies of the town. I'll stick to being a Maharaja. <laughs> what you need is some sort of camouflage. Each one of you needs something so you can merge with the background. Haan sahab, yehi ek tarika hai. Aap sahab base badal kar banjo a jogi. Or Gloria sahab, a sacred cop. <laughs> Don't be such clever dicky. <laughs> Look, fellas, why don't you just leave it to your Uncle Solly? I will personally guarantee that you'll all merge with the background. Come here. Underneath the arches, I'll dream my dreams away. I'm not liking this, Rangi. 
Oh, stop belly aching. Bloody fool. We should have come in disguise. But you are in disguise, you silly fellow. <laughs> you are disguised as dirty chawala. <laughs> oh, baby, here comes trouble. military police basket. <laughs> you make first class razors, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Come on, fellas, hurry it up. I say, it's not very sophisticated. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Come on, I love the cases. <laughs> that red lamp looks pretty. <laughs> Come on, let's get inside, quick. Police to go away. <laughs> Good evening. We are the cabaret. You are not cabaret. You are military police basket. Go on. <laughs> Randy, tell him. Watch your sab. Manager sab. Yeah. Ye log basket to nahi hai. Ye paka concert party log hai. Concert party log nahi hai ye. Ye to military police. All right, Randy. I knew it was out of bounds. Well, if you knew that, surely you should have told me. I was gonna tell you, fellas. Honest, but I just wanted time to work things out. I don't want to go to Clinky. I'd get put on. The got one. We shouldn't take a chance. Yeah, but look, we'll be playing through all those swells instead of those sweaty butch soldiers. Oh, I think it's worth it. Oh, Sab, you are so brave. <laughs> but if the place is crawling with a police, how are we going to get in? It won't be crawling with the police. They raided it last week. They probably won't go near there for a month. Hey, hey Solly, we could go in disguise. Aye. A Maharaja. I've always fancied myself as a Maharaja. <laughs> Sully, we could go as the ladies of the town. I'll stick to being a Maharaja. <laughs> what you need is some sort of camouflage. Each one of you needs something so you can merge with the background. Yes, sir. This is the way you can make a joke with your face. And Gloria, sir, a sacred cup. <laughs> Don't be such clever dicky. <laughs> Look, fellas, why don't you just look at them? Looks rather pretty. We've <laughs> got a jolly slack staff. Very bad at answering the door. OK, fellas, he's ready. Right, Randy, let him in. I just up. Oh, come on, fellas, shoulders back. Try and look like real MPs. Can I stand on a stool? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are you doing here? Evening, no. Uh, well, just a routine call. Nothing much happening here. Come on outside, lads. That's funny. I heard this place was going to be full of troops. Oh, yeah, did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I had a tip-off from my pal, B.S.M. Williams. Oh, yeah. A tip-off from B.S.M. Williams? Well, that's funny, because oh, he... Oh, Mamma Mia, he not have been a year all night. <laughs> <laughs> Spaghetti! <laughs> he's from Ensa. Sab, he's an Irish tenor doing turn. Uh, we'll take care of him. Oh, all right. Go on, then. All right, yeah. Come on, lads. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, well, by the way, um, yeah. there's lots of girls upstairs, you know. Oh. Well, I suppose you might have a look around while we're here. Oh, yeah, you do that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, fellas, hurry up. Slowly. Taking all sizes these days, aren't they? <laughs> That's funny. Five went in and eight have come out. <laughs> They're very thorough, you know. <laughs> well known place, that. I suppose they want some sort of a cabaret. <coughs> of course, Karma Sutra Club. Oh, glorious, the big time. Everybody in Doolally goes there. Must be a very big place. <laughs> <laughs> they don't all go at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Is it sophisticated? Oh, it's the haunt of the elite. I mean, you get a... Well, uh, Mr. Lardy Dog, Gunner Graham, if you've got so much imagination, perhaps you can tell the Bombardier cook what else he can do with his corned beef. Everything all right, yes. <laughs> Not bad, sir. The only trouble is they get more or less the same thing every day. Well, it's just as bad for the officers. I'm fed up to the back teeth with chicken. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the same for us from now. When I was in the ranks, the food was absolutely uneatable. It was the worst two weeks of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Bobby, dear. <laughs> Come on, Gloria, you're on. Over my shoulder, girl. Over my shoulder, girl. Oh, dear, Sergeant Major 
दूसरे को नींद नहीं आ रही ये है वन ऑफ दो Just one thing. Uh, why are you dressed? Oh, like I know what he's going to ask, sir. Why is I dressed like a clown? Yes, <laughs> that's right. I was. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, uh, it took me a long time to decide, sir, what disguise to adapt. And after what's happened to me tonight, I think I made the right choice. <laughs> you know, there is one very old Hindu proverb which say that house with red lamp over door is not always headquarters of communist party. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.